Hello, in this lesson I'm going to explain how to analyze uh, and record HTTP archive logs. In general, when we troubleshoot or when you test web-based applications, um, the application performance and server response codes, these all need uh, logs, right, from client side. So from each and every browser, you can collect HTTP archive logs. In short term, it is called as HAR file, H-A-R, HAR file. This file can be generated from each and every browsers and you can use Google HAR analyzer or the HAR software, HAR viewer to analyze these logs. So before going to these logs, let me explain uh, how this helps to identify the response codes and uh, how to find the redirects in, in general in networking world when you troubleshoot any problems uh, like a URL filtering or if you allow some particular website access and the page is partially loading and you need to figure out all the CDNs and other sub redirected URLs then this lesson would help. Let's start. So before uh, we start access, we need to enable uh, developer tool that falls in more tools, then click on developer tool. I'm using Chrome browser. So in this you see network tab and you select preserve log so that the pages which we load would be preserved here. Let's let me start and access um, you know one complex site bbc.com. So bbc.com in general this is not a single web page where bbc.com just alone loaded each and every multimedia objects and images videos loaded from multiple sub URLs. These URLs can be you know seen here if you over our mouse over any of the link um, here so example you see this one is from google this one is from sync.srv and other redirects so as soon as the page is loaded um, you can see on the bottom 334 requests 3.7 mb transferred and 9.9 .9 mb resources finish in 32 seconds so here these logs you can save by you know click on the export hard log or you can right click and save all save as hard with the content so these two way you can save these logs let me use this uh, download option to save these files um, so i saved these logs now uh, I need to analyze. You can use the same HAR log viewer here. You can see, um, if you double click, you can see the headers and response. You can see um, in headers, you can see the URL and the destination address. What's the response code? You are getting kind of uh, basic information and uh, headers information so you can see. Uh, but you can use um, you know Google uh, hard analyzer uh, by just um, searching in Google the first link will come toolbox.googleapps.com so this app uh, the web-based um, application would uh, um, analyze the har file let me load the har file uh, the file just now I saved here so the BBC I saved, if I load this file, you'll see all the redirects and the time it takes to load. You can see each and every object and the total time uh, takes to load each and every object. This each and every object timing, it takes, um, you know, the overall end user uh, web surfing performance. So if, if user troubleshooting network related issues or one particular URL is being blocked by your firewall or any web proxies, then you know the page would load uh, partially. Then you can use this um, hard logs to analyze uh, 
what's the time it's taking you know they can you know identify bottlenecks um, you know from the network standpoint as from client to the web server the packet travels many backbone isps and multiple points uh, the latencies and uh, the connectivity issues or you know comes with multiple factor so when you click any um, redirect you see uh, multiple uh, tabs popping up here request and response response content cookies and timing the timing one is a um, bit useful when you see the block the block the time and the dns time how long the browser or this machine is taken to look up this this domain to resolve dns uh, it took 30 millisecond and the connection timeout wait time ssl time this is taken to complete SSL handshake um, between client and uh, server. So these all um, times you can consider while uh, troubleshooting or accessing the performance. Based on this uh, available info, you can point uh, if you see SSL handshake is taking more time, then you can work on SSL part. Why SSL alone taking time? If you look at uh, you know, DNS time is taking, maybe that the issue is uh, client itself because the client first contact DNS server before make the connection to the actual web server. So that way you can, you know, track it down the, any web, web performance related problem. And in request, you can see uh, the request header and uh, respective public IP address and other header informations. So these informations are quite useful when you look for particular um, header while troubleshooting application issues. So that's all about this lesson. Hope this is helpful. Um, thank you for your time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.